You told us about some of your favorites from last time. I believe Lil Wayne is one of them. Yes. Um, he said young boy. I don't think he said young boy. You kept saying young boy. Nah, it's that he said it was one of his favorites. That's what you were saying last time, man. <laughs> He definitely was saying Lil Wayne. Uh, he definitely was saying, uh, I think you said, um, uh, Boosie. Boosie. Yeah, you said Boosie as well. We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. I don't know if they call it pop or what. I don't know if they call it like the Ed Sheeran of the word. I don't know what that's considered. Oh, yeah. I yeah. what that's considered. Kind of like folk, but kind of pop. Yeah, I think. It's a little but bit I think of both. don't like pop. Kind of change. Yeah, no. Yeah, it changed. And over he doesn't time. even yeah. like in an interview. He said he doesn't really consider himself a part of the pop world. Who? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. But it's he's mainstream. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I listen a little bit of everything. Man. It's funny. A lot of, a lot of um. A lot of people like Ed Sheeran that you wouldn't typically expect to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> but he be talking his shit. <laughs> I think Sheeran, I heard the name. I uh, thought it was a Simpsons character. It's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, no. bro. No, that's he's, been, um, he's been making music for a while now. Like, he got some hits. He's been out since mm -hmm. like 2012. He's got a couple like, platinum records. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. He's a pop artist from the UK. <laughs> and, and he's in a whole different lane than Young Boy. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Kelsey think anyone's bigger than Young Boy. I mean, That's your favorite artist. Ain't no, who is your favorite artist? My favorite. artist? Yeah. Answer right now. Mm -hmm. Answer. Mm. <laughs> That's so hard. All right, your know. top, your top five. My top five. All time or right now? Just say yeah, right that's now. what I'm saying. Like right now, right now. Okay, right now, you could say no cap. I fuck with no cap. No cap. Um, Key Glock. That's a rare. I never heard nobody say that on the top five. Oh, no, 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 we're saying yeah, right yeah. now. Okay, yeah. I know, right like now? you know, I'm talking about right now too. I never heard no. <laughs> no, I Everybody fuck with Key Glock. Glock. He just dropped the tape. Yeah, I fuck with Key Glock too. I just never heard nobody. Oh, yeah, I ain't never heard that. Uh, I fuck yeah. with Key Glock. Um, That's hard. Okay. Key Glock is hard right now. I be listening to. Um, Baby Keem, he's in my top five right now. Nice. Yes. Baby Keem hard. Mm. Love Fo's still in my top five, you know. He, like, disappeared off the face of the earth a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and then one more. I've been bumping that new Summer Walker. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Gotta throw that <laughs> one in <laughs> <there> too. <laughs> But but her album. I haven't heard her album. It I'm, was I'm good. Sure. Yeah. It was a pretty solid she album. Went she went crazy. And she got some nice oh, ass features it. on there too. Yeah. Ari Lennox, Lil Dirk's on there. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've heard like I've heard. I think I've heard one or two songs from it, but I haven't like played the entire album. Yeah, no, nah, she's not. She did her song yeah. fun. She did, I she mean, did she's, it for the girls. I think I think she's breaking a lot of records. I I heard something like she. She broke a record. I think it was Beyonce who sold more than however many units from five years ago. Like she's going crazy. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. doing the thing. Move it, she's doing she's great. She just R &B, signed a like fucked up ass that. deal. Yeah. Uh, she yeah. signed a horrible deal, yeah. but she's doing great. <laughs> I yeah. just I don't know how Everything how great the labels done, treating her, but mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the only thing, you know, you got to be wary about in the industry. You know, a lot gotta, of artists are caught up in that situation. You got to make sure you got a good-ass deal and lawyers behind you. You go in the door, bro, they're not really offering you nothing anyway. So yeah. just to have somebody say they got they, they got a good deal, that's that's a myth, man. Yeah. yeah. They, like, it's a unicorn. They, they, want, they talking 80-20, mm -hmm. period. You got to come that's a good deal. to the table. That's the key. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a good, that's a good offer. And then, yeah. you know, when you got the wherewithal to go in and, uh, and put more on the table, because your product is is is, is pumping, mm -hmm. and they want to fuck with it. That's what people are, are talking about. But you're seeing R.I.P. Young Dolph, man. But I mean, even the best of them, they actually you need some kind of backing. Yeah. yeah. And whatever y'all talk about behind the scene, you can get out of get out here and talk about whatever it is and how it is. But at the end of the day, man, somebody got to cut. 
Yeah, somebody yeah. needs a cut. No, they all need a cut. Yeah. Be out here by yourself. They want all their cuts too. Unless you've done it and you got the you got a block of capital to invest in yourself, Tory Lanes. You know what I mean? To the mm-hmm. point where you can. I've done this and I've been through that. I made sure I didn't sign any contracts that I can't get out of in the next two years or something like that. But somebody yeah. got Tory Lanez first one or two masters still on. on, on. No, for sure, yeah. absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So Some artists prefer to just have that platform, like. Dang, I'm like, I know this ain't this not the best deal, but That's I need I, I need to use this it. platform. Because yeah, it definitely yeah, gave her all the exposure mm-hmm. she needs. But I think I read somewhere that she's only making like a tenth of every dollar or some shit like that for mm-hmm. her deal. Yeah. So, mm. what you what? Dolph again, man? No, yeah, rest, yeah, in, rest in peace, Dolph. Dolph. Rest in peace, Dolph. He 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 be in my top five too. Mm-hmm. Big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolph go crazy like, and even in the clubs. I remember just as. It's like a period of just like, bro, Young Dolph is playing in the club like all the time, every time. Every club you going to in the yeah. middle, you know, that's on pre. Yeah, man. Show. Yeah. All right, my time. my heart be my heart feels for for Key Glock right now. What's your what's your perspective on um on artists that sign to other artists? What you think about that? Because I see a lot of I see a lot of like um tough that's, situations with that's that too. What he wants to do though, we're here to start his label. Artists would be signed under him. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> but, but but Lil Zod's not gonna rip nobody off, you know. He's gonna he gonna get his little cut That's though. Gonna, we're gonna you know for good PR we'll say that we don't know what he do. <laughs> you know, he gets your cut as part of the business, but yeah. Um, you just gotta know what you getting yourself into uh, when you sign it, um, and make sure it's something that you want to do. Mm-hmm. Let nobody try to stay away from it. Make it work for you. It's just the key. Make it work for you. It worked for Drake. Did you see that Money Man? I don't remember what okay. artist he signed, but he had given their um, their advancing cryptocurrency. Mm. Who who did Money that? Man. That's dope. Uh. Yeah, Money everyone man. was just like, Shut yeah, up. that's yeah. that's that's that was so dope. Though. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you give him like a couple bitcoins or something he gave for the deal. That can grow without them, them ever doing exactly. anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's maybe hard. that'll be like the the future. I yeah, it should be future of deals. People <laughs> tapped in. That should be Tory Lanez went crazy with the. Um, I don't know if he's the first artist to do it, the but the yeah. NFT album. Yeah, Tory Lanez. Oh my God, I was so mad. I didn't even because I, I was I was hearing about it, but it was him bro, and someone yeah. else. I don't remember who was speaking on it. I think someone little else baby did. or something. I don't know. It's one of them. Mm. But he went crazy with yeah, that. Blew my mind. I was like, do people not understand what this man just did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember when he, it, they don't. I remember he's seeing the news. I'm going to every other page, like um, news page, like uh, music music uh, outlets, and I'm not seeing anybody talking about it. I'm like, the music world don't even understand what yeah. this man just did. Ain't even just they don't understand it. They don't like it. Yeah, they don't, like, they it. don't like it. Are mm-hmm. you into investing? Definitely, mm-hmm. definitely. You gotta you gotta invest your money. Mm-hmm. Invest your money. Um, you gotta save, but you gotta invest. Yeah, cause saving is just sit there. Yeah, it don't grow. Mm-hmm. You got an IRA account and all that stuff. It grows twelve percent. He just he just gave some game real quietly. Right. He didn't want y'all to. <laughs> it can, but you know, um, he hiding all the game for himself. Yeah. <laughs> I heard him though, guy. Oh man! Sometimes you got to keep information like the Underground Railroad, man. You, you got to. Them NFTs. You type in NFT, man. It's big. But yeah. I mean, as soon as we get to talking about something and and and, and, and it hits trends, mm-hmm. it's the man. prices like, start like, going up. Like yeah. shea butter, mm-hmm. and like spirituality and metaphysicism and stuff like yeah. that. All that stuff yeah. is like watered down, and then what yeah. they start doing is throwing in misinformation. Yeah, exactly. They start doing that, man. Oh yeah. It's 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 not a thing no more. We got to move on to something else. I mean, but we can't be revealing all our secrets, man. If we gonna try to take over something, you know. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. most definitely. Yeah, that, that. There's always there's always balance. Like I feel like you can gatekeep certain things, and other things should just be public knowledge because it's gonna be public knowledge anyways. But Facts. and it is. Yeah, My it thing, is. Man. You just have to search for it. A lot of people, you know, they just want to be fed information. So. Right. But it's all out there for everyone. Yeah, well, we're, we're we're living in the fast in the fast lane. Everybody just want to talk. Nobody's gonna want to research. People want to 
have the appeal like they know something bef- instead of actually, actually knowing, it. knowing something. Yeah. 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 The results before they do any work, man. Yeah. You know, they don't know. I mean, everything is tedious. Mm-hmm. Once you start getting into real, true success, man, and then on top of that, a sacrifice has to be made. Period. I don't care what's going on. I don't care if you want the sacrifice to happen, man. If you want to cross over into that realm of true wealth or true success, I don't care what you do. Something's going to happen or something mm-hmm. needs to happen or you need to let something go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big time. Are you are you like a big energy person? Like are you are you big on like uh who you let into your life? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Gotta keep this gotta calm be. aura at all times. You gotta be gotta watch everybody in. I'm big on reading people though. Like energy. I can look in your eyes and read you and see your intentions in a way. Like yeah. 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 yeah, that's a that's a that's a gift, man. What 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 would you look at? Like, say you signing artists, you pay, you choosing your first artist, you signing to your label. Like, what are you looking at? Um, what would impress you? Where at it? Um, I ain't gonna say you gotta work at the same level as me because I want you to work harder than me. Um, mm-hmm. But just worry if it. That's key. Like, be consistent. And even just on the talent level, you just got to work. Like, you got to work hard. Yeah. It ain't okay while it's a grind. Because mm-hmm. you your own business. You as an artist, you are your business. You your brand. Mm-hmm. You got to grind. Um, I see that in just being focused. Let's go. Let's run it. Me, I'm a capitalist, man. I'm looking for the best <laughs> time. Sign, it, it's, it, I mean, and I ain't talking about like who sound the best out of the singles, man. Everybody know when you just hear that one thing that mm-hmm. just go in your head, you like. Yeah, you got okay. it. You got my attention, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm finna do whatever it takes to get you in front of these people, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? And that, at the end of the day, we building capital. So, I mean, that's So, what come. is that sound that kind of just, you know, captures your attention? What is it necessarily like? I mean. Where you're like, this is a star. I mean, so. To kind of give an example, if you look at Summer Walker's last album, mm-hmm. and then you look at this one, mm-hmm. maybe it's the, the slight bit of controversy behind it, and knowing that she's going into the controversy, like that's all in sound because yeah. you listen to her voice, oh and yeah, listen to how she's approaching it, mm-hmm. or you listen to East G's first album. Um, I think I forgot the name, or was it the Bull or something? I had a Bull on it or something like that. But then you listen to how he's getting on it now, mm-hmm. like people starting to say he's the. New Jeezy and stuff like yeah. that, man. It's just a sound that starts to come out yeah. of the mic. Yes, yeah, TG's. It, that. That's my mom. That's I think it's the feeling, too. Like, you feel like it's real. Yeah. Like, you can mm-hmm. tell when the work is authentic. It's not just some bullshit yeah. that they just talking on a track. That's what people want. Yeah. Yeah. Either want to be able to relate to it. They can feel you. They probably ain't never been through caught up with you meant to, but they can feel it. Yeah. yeah. Summer Walker, why. dead ass named one of her songs for the baby mama. <laughs> 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 and she was talking she, her shit on that song. She you about you petty as that? Yeah. yeah. That's the sound I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> uh-huh. she felt that. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? That's exactly what I'm talking about, man. She reached out. She touched you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be able to reach people. That's what it's about, reality music. Yeah. I don't even consider myself a, just no hip-hop or mm-hmm. reality rap. That's what I'm gonna call it for now. Reality rapper. Yeah. That's why I'm behind him, man. Cause yeah, he got you got that a hundred percent. Yeah, no, yeah, you definitely you, you definitely tell it how it is. I think that's where the reservedness comes from, man, because there's so much involved in behind what he's talking about, and I think the simple fact that he's even rapping about a lot of this, like if you if you know what's going on and you listen to him, like it's gonna make your skin crawl. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So with that said, for him to come in here and you know be truthful so much on the mic and have to talk about it, man. You don't want a double-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Just, it'll kind of at some point work against you. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, I think that's where the reservedness comes from because you have to be methodical in a lot of things you say, man. When this, when, when I think we just get more of, of the... You come from it, let's just say. You come from that type of lifestyle. Yeah. So We get a lot of solid emotion in the music because in person, it's very mellow. Just... Chill. Yeah. Well, people like that usually got a lot to say, and you gotta say you oh, yeah. gotta say it through mm-hmm. some we sort of av- avenue. Yeah, that's the only way we can say that is yeah. fictitious. Well, it's like when we're talking about the like the um, Summer Walker thing. Some things are better received when through music. You know, um, if Summer Walker were to go on Twitter and say some of the things she said on on her album, 
wouldn't or be said, or, you know, yeah, it wouldn't be taken the same way. You could argue back with her, yeah. but you can't argue back with music. You can't yeah. do it. Like, I mean, and everyone, you, yeah. everyone yeah. went in London's comments and was like, you really did that to Summer, bro? <laughs> <laughs> and he can have the story he want to have. You can't argue with You music, can't argue with music. <laughs> he can't go over there. Nah, man. Can't that. You can't argue with it. You know, it's it's a, it's a, music is beautiful, man, for sure. Yeah. That's well said, bro. Yeah. You cannot argue with music. No. Mm-hmm. It's definitely just the truth in the writing. Like, mm-hmm. People say everything. That's why it's revolutionary. Like, music always been revolutionary. The Bob Marley's and, you know, Tupac and mm-hmm. those guys. That's why, that's why those, they're, they are more threatening than a, you know, mm-hmm. than a, a politician, I would say, you mm-hmm. know. It's yeah. like, we can't, this guy's influencing too. Up the princes. Yeah. Well, J. Cole said that in also. his, um, I forget what the song was, but, um, it was on his last album, and they were saying how, um, damn, I don't remember the song. But basically, in what he was saying, like, the artists out here, these new artists out here are just following trends. Oh, I know this uh, song. I know this song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 1985. He was talking his shit on He was that. talking his shit. But he wasn't lying, though. No, 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 he wasn't man. lying, though. I wish, which song you have, like, where you, like, you talking your shit on this new album? Because even, even with, Drake's, with Drake's recent album, um, CLB, he has like a record on there too where he's just like, he's going in. And I feel like a lot of artists usually have that one record where they're just like, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go crazy on this record. Is it the Which one is that for you? Remorse, that song? No, that ain't, that ain't. Um, from the lane that you talking about, no, that wouldn't be one of the ones. Uh, I don't know, just gotta wait and see. Gotta wait and see. I feel like you did that on, <laughs> on the truth, like the single. I feel like you did that a little bit on there too. Yeah, I definitely did that on the single. Yeah, because sure. I know I'm listening to that. I'm like, yeah, he, he gone. just used to talking his shit. Yeah. Cause I'm always giving, I'm always giving so much out. Like I'm always giving so much game or, or telling you what really be going on. So it's like, I don't know. This whole tape is vulnerable. Yeah. It's definitely a vulnerable tape. Like it's a vulnerable guy. Mm-hmm. The type of guy that can't function inside the booth unless he's pulling from life instances that mm-hmm. he's been through so you know it, it's not going to come out as far as like no concept type thing yeah he got he got to like draw from a whole real story or a couple of stories or 10 stories mm-hmm. you'll hear him talk about the homeboys and then say something slick about a female yeah <laughs> that's that you know what i'm saying but everything yeah. you hear Bert, like rhyme for rhyme man it, it's it's literally pulled from somewhere where he didn't experience it dealt mm-hmm. with and survived it yeah. I think that's going to give you a lot of longevity in this game, too. That's like, um, that's not something everybody can do, no. you know. No. I don't got no feel to, like, I can't, I just got to, got to get it to him. Mm-hmm. So I know Nobody. there's no, um, no features on the upcoming album, but are you working with any artists, you know, now that the album's done? Yeah, trying to put out some um, more things with other people. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, we got my brother, young, one way youngin. We definitely gonna get some more. One way youngin. One yeah. way youngin. Oh yeah, okay. I know. I know one way. Yeah, we definitely gonna get some more out of. Um, we got big skis. One of my, another one of my brothers from Pablo. We gonna definitely get some more. Um, we actually just did one recently, um, like a couple weeks ago. Definitely get some music out. I think that's what mm-hmm. all the traveling we doing is for. It's like to kind of like um, make the right connections. I mean, mm-hmm. if you notice, man, any artist that go and get signed by another artist or mm-hmm. deal or something like that, they kind of they kind of shelf them. So mm-hmm. you know, I'm, then I'm gonna spin you around and shitload of uh, studio sessions, a shitload yeah. of states. Um, pull up to these uh, um, what you call it, man, when the people showcases. Yeah. Pull up to these clubs with this person that. You know, you ain't gonna perform or nothing like that, but you gonna hobnob. Yeah. At the end of the day, whatever you come up with as far as making your best um connections, man. That's I mean, I think that's what he's trying to do right now. As far as this tape, and then right after when we come right back with the next tape, I think that's when you'll see mm-hmm. the features, and you'll see. I mean, we ain't. It's, it's it's at some point, man. With him, it's about size because if I don't mess with your persona, 
You know what I mean? I'm not even coming that way. And if I do mess with your persona and then I get in there and you're not really who you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I can't really get on that, bro. I can't put my stamp on that. No matter what, all this take, all this uh money to be made or what this right. thing is the third. When we get there, whatever. If, if I ain't got the, you know what I'm saying, see you and I could just put a, a verse in your song, cool. Right. And I get my little bread, cool. But yeah. if I actually got the work with you. Exactly. Yeah. You know, um, be organic with you. Even if I got to sing you the song, we got to sit on the phone and talk, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. then... I got to watch you get in, get in your limelight and mess up your name yeah. be, and be made fun of while I'm on your cut. Like, it's just a different thing that we're trying to do, man, because at the end of the day, what we also trying to push as far as like the future, as far as what us bringing in artists, man, we're trying to push the type of character that, you know, black men need coming from where we come from. Mm -hmm. So you, like you said earlier, man, it's a lot of people that um, hop into the streets. You yeah. know what I mean? Right now, because it's famous. Mm -hmm. It's a trend. It's a trend mm -hmm. right trend, now. Yeah. And you got a lot of people who been spoon fed. Mm -hmm. And whether you, you know what I mean? Or just ain't had no, ain't no, had no hardships. Ain't had no loss or nothing like that, man. Hopping out here. And when the other side come, they crying. Yeah. yeah. They, they begging. Mm -hmm. They telling. They doing mm -hmm. all kind of stuff that ain't from what we from. Now, mind you, ain't nothing new under the sun. It's, it's all been going on, man. But. Oh yeah, you still. We trying to get back to the to the people being to 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 the realness being the majority. We strive to motivate, inspire young minds so they don't go to waste. We call ourselves city, but we global, and everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal.